Hey, it's Joe Glantz from Animator, and in this video, I'm being a little lazy. I'm going to give you some code here and demonstrate how to create bar charts with the auto hotkey. However, when I say me, it's a it's a younger version of me because this is actually excerpted from a webinar that we did several years ago with Jackie, and I realized I, I hadn't shared it separately, and I wanted to have a custom download for it, so I thought, why don't I go into that video, rip it out, because we already did it, right? So why recreate it? So in a second here, I'm going to jump to an older ver or younger version of me, uh, and trying to laugh, but anyway, it's a good demonstration of the functionality of how you can easily create bar charts with auto hotkey. I think it uses the GDI library. It's an, from uh, learning one. It's a pretty cool little library and you can go to the URL above me here, the automator.com slash bar chart to get the file. So please like, um, and of course subscribe, but please like this video. It helps me a lot and hope you're having an awesome day. Cheers. So as I mentioned earlier, but now I didn't do it and, and obviously I didn't add bar chart to my, my spelling. We start off with an example script just to demonstrate a cool auto hotkey script. And so here are a couple examples of the use of it, but this bar chart by learning one, it's been around for a while um, and I'm not gonna get into the coding. What I am gonna do though, is run a couple examples. So this first one, here's a simple example where when I run it, it, you know, here's, it shows a bar chart and you can, you can choose to have the labels or not, but um, the bars itself and the graph and everything are built in auto hotkey. And let's, let's, let's go ahead and open that one up. Just we'll open up one to show you how simple, even if you don't know how to hotkey, how simple it is. So see these first, um, not the first five lines, but these lines here, right? That's that's the data. And so that's where you put in the data. And then we'll come back to the, oops, the graph. And here you can see how, you know, it's, it's, it's mapped out. But all you'd have to do to change this is basically provide some tab delimited data, um, slightly different, and pass it to that function, and you'll create your graph. So I thought, as someone who I'm getting tired of how Excel is, Excel used to be great at graphing, and now it, it honestly is really painful to graph. So I really like how easy this is. I can't easily increase the size of my screen because I, I can try, but this, the, I mean, if you want the code, that's one thing, but the graph itself, it doesn't really matter as far as what's the names. Can you see this part well enough? Jackie, can you confirm? Can you see the? Yeah, I can see it well enough. Yeah, but the um, the actual like text under here, and like this is actually the the Latin, I forget what the, what it's actually called, but it's, you know, it's not real words. It doesn't but, seem like the Latin. Oh, actually, you're right, I'm sorry. This one was just some text, some text, some text, some text. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a different one that has the, the Latin stuff. I just thought it was a cool example of how, you know, you can, you can build some some interesting graphs in auto hotkey that look pretty decent. I wouldn't be overly embarrassed to put these graphs in a report. No, I'd say also the background of the graphs and stuff. He seems to have some great stuff there. Yeah. Learning one is, seems to be quite good at this. So here, and I'm pressing one, two, three, and four, and that's what's toggling through these different graphs. I think it's the same data, just representing it in different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems to be. Let's see, and there's two more. I think it's using, I didn't look at it, but I think it's the GDIP library it's using. That's an interesting one. Yeah. I would not want to be in Moscow or Oslo. <laughs> you're, Jackie, awesome. you're probably used to that. I'd say we are, we are, we are getting the, the long straw at the moment, the last couple of years hasn't really been that bad but again it's kind of gray so it's still kind of sad but yeah. yeah this this is the only one for me is like that i wouldn't have that in a you know in a business deck but um you get the idea you can have background images as well